Hi everyone, it's Anne Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with a Buttons Galore and More Design Team project share and I'm so excited to show you what I've created with this month's Design Team package. And uh, the unboxing, uh, I will leave the video down below. I've received so many great items and if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I received so many beautiful high quality products. You don't wanna miss it. So in this Design Team project share, I wanted to think outside the box and use buttons in a new way, right? And it wouldn't be a project share without me trying to be a little bit inventive, I guess. And this may or may not have been done before, but I have not seen this. So I wanted to create a way to use them in my dangles. And we are dangle crazy, charm crazy, and I love this idea. I love using this as kind of a connecting hook for my um my pieces and i thought that this was this glitter button was adorable and i will leave a product link down below but i also decided to make some tassels and in my tassel my beaded tassel i thought i could use them as spacers and i did bust out some of the floral buttons in in this package and I love how this came out I thought it was so cute and I really haven't seen this way done before and again this is so um, such a perfect way to incorporate it to the style that I do now and again I took a whole bunch of different color pink buttons and you can see that here I added a bunch of wood buttons in this one and I love how this came out and these are pre-made tassels that I actually did use and then I just fed the buttons and the beads through the string and then I just added a little jump ring and a little clasp at the end to make this kind of like a hanging element but I love how simple this came out and I thought it would be a great addition to add to my projects and I'm totally going to use this idea um, in my future projects and I hope you find some kind of inspiration or spark to use your button stash next I have this adorable 3d SVG file that I had kind of put together I just stuck some flowers in And I thought this was perfect for uh, Easter and um, with, with Mother's Day coming up. This was such a great little project. I wanted to make like an ombre kind of, um, I don't know, an ombre feel with the buttons. So I went from light pink to dark pink. And I love how this came out. This is an SVG cut file. And I'll leave a, a link to the SVG cut file down below. Um, I thought it came out super cute. And for decorations, I thought I could just, you could see this here. You can add some goodies in here as well. But I thought this would be a fun way to just put your flowers in. And if you wanted to use this as a decoration piece, you could totally just hang this to the side or, you know. But I love this teapot so much. And I love the accents that the buttons put. I did put some jemmies on the handles and some jemmies on top because I just love that sparkle but I think this came out super cute next up I have some shaker embellishments so I did a project share before but I wanted to make them with macaroons and I did use the sequence mix that I received in my design team package and the product that I used was springtime in Paris and it and again I will leave the links down below but I love that little shaker element in this cloche die I think it came out super cute and then I did use some crystal hearts for the bottom there was a heart there but instead of paper piecing it I put these crystal hearts for a little sparkle number and I love how this came out and then I made a little shaker mason jar because I love I wanted to, I love this sequence mix so much. I think this is the cherry blossom one. Yes, cherries in bloom. And look how pretty. I love the pinks and reds and then the use of seed beads in this mix. I even added some buttons in there because I love that, the sound of that, the shaker mix. And they have little floral sequins in there. And I thought it came out super cute. 
and with the new Maggie Holmes garden party this was a perfect addition so those are my little shaker embellishments I also made a shaker memory decks card and here is the mix that I used in the back and I used a bunch of these beautiful mixes and I have to show you this pink frosting you guys if you have not seen this before it is so pretty and it comes with these jemmies inside so i really love that element that it add also i added some of this blue and this is the springtime in paris i love this sequence mix so much so you can see the hint of blue and blues in there as well and then i did add some of these sprinklets pink it up to give it a little fun pop to it and here is the memory decks card uh, I used the marigold collection I just sandwiched two acetate pieces and then um, two different floral papers in that collection I have my little made uh, crafty kimchi little uh, charm here little charm that I made and I love this little cluster that I have here um, here is a little resin heart that I have and I think it's so cute. I did also tuck into the the uh, Cheesecloth I added some of these pearls. I just added a little dab of glue and I just love how that look I added some one here and I think it gives it such an elegant look to it I did also add some blue jemmies and this is from the doodads again and this is the Caribbean sea one this in pink and blue are my favorite and they come with those jemmies inside so they're loose jemmies that come in the shaker mix so you can totally add them to your projects which I did here and then last but not least I needed to do a resin project because we're talking about shaker stuff and shaker mixes I love this bunny and of course with Easter coming I thought it was the perfect mold to use I used um, those pearls those tie-dye pearls I went and I added some of those sparklets those crystal hearts in here and you can see them in there I did add some little shaped hearts as well and I love the mint color I did paint this um, the flowers inside and this minty minty color is giving me life I love it so much and then I added it on this dangle that my friend Olga had given to me and I thought it was so perfect to add this onto my keychain and I am Easter ready with my fun little resin shaker and that is it for my project share I will leave product information down below if you're interested and if you have any questions just leave a comment down below thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video bye everyone